In this video, I will be explaining that how you can fix Windows security service is turned off or missing on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I have few effective solutions that I would recommend that you should apply one by one. And by the end of this video, I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. So let's quickly get started. First, you need to click on your Windows search. Type Windows security. In this suggestion, you will be getting Windows security. Right click on it. Click on app settings. Now here, scroll down a bit. You will find the repair option. Click on it. Once you're repaired, you have to click on reset. And then you can close it. Now next, you will be getting a link in the description of this website, Hitman Pro. This is a very powerful tool to delete all kind of infection and malware. As many people reported that due to some kind of malware attack, the Windows security service get blocked or it get disappeared. Once you come up here, click on free 30 day trial. Now you have to go and fill all these information. Then click submit. Now, depending you are using the 32 bit or 64, you can download it. Now, if this asks you to fill the information again, then type the information, check the box, click on submit. The downloading will be started. Once downloaded, open the file, click on yes, click on next, next. Here you have to choose the second option that says no, I only want to perform one time scan. So select it, then click on next and just let it run because it will be now scanning for all kind of infection, malware and trojan. So now you can minimize it. Then click on your Windows search, type CMD. Then choose run as administrator, click on yes. The black window will be coming up. Now here you have to run few command and that command also you will find in the description. Copy these command one by one. Come back to the black window, right click. It will be automatically pasted. Hit the enter key. Now copy the second command, right click and paste it. Now this command will be scanning so you can just wait and you can minimize it. Now meanwhile it's scanning and the command is running. We can move with the next step. So again you will be getting a link in the description. You need to come to this page of media fire and you have to download it. And then you also need to download the second file. So that one is 64 bit. This is a kind of a DLL file. And this is a registry file, so you have to download both. Once downloaded, bring up your file explorer. Go to the download section and you will find both the file has been downloaded in a zip file. So what you can do, you can just extract them. So make a right click, choose extract all. Now here you can choose the destination wherever you feel that will be more convenient. So I will just extract on my desktop. So I will locate the location, desktop and then extract it. So now you can see these files are being extracted. Now I'll go back and extract this file as well to desktop only. Okay, so once extracted, now here you'll find four different kind of files. So first you have to look for WSC SVC.reg. Double click on it, then click on yes, then click on yes again. Once it's been done, you will find the command, double click on it. And now you need to run this command. So you can copy the first command. And now we can bring up the command prompt. You can see the command has been completed. So now we can paste it and then it will run it. Then you have to copy the second one, right click and paste it. And once it's been done, you can close it. Now here we have the DLL file as well. So you need to copy it or you can cut it. Then again, open up your file explorer. Go to your PC, local disk C, Windows. And here you have to look for SysVal64. This one, double click on it. And now you need to paste this file over here. So right click and paste it. Click on continue. And then you can close it. All right, so now you can see that the scan has been completed. And it says no threat found. So that's a good news for me. But probably you will find some kind of infection and it will turn into red. And it says that you got some kind of Trojan or infection. So what you can do, you will be getting an option of next or delete. So kindly follow the instruction and delete all the infection that has been detected. And then bring up the command prompt again. 
and then we need to run these two command and again it will take some time so once this command is completed you have to finally run this command and once all the commands are completed now you will have to restart your pc and once the computer gets restarted click on your windows search type services click on services app now here you have to look for the windows security service once you get it double click on it now here just make sure the status is running and if not then in startup type you have to choose to automatic then you need to click on start then click apply then click on ok and now if you go back and check your windows security there will not be any kind of problem and you will not be popping up with any kind of error message so hopefully guys this whole solution will surely work for you you will get all the command all the link in the description and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye